Hi, I'm Taryn Ryder and I'm so honored to be here with Colleen Atwood, the designer for Snow White and the Huntsman. So take me through all of this. I'm, I would just, let's get right to it. Okay. Well, we're sort of starting at the, at the back. This is Charlize's <laughs> last costume okay. that she wears in the film when she uh, comes back to fight the final battle with Snow White. We call it the armor dress right. because it didn't seem appropriate so that she'd be put into a suit of armor. She'd no. still have her personality Somehow going Somehow I think on. Ravenna would never do pants. Yeah, I don't think she's a pants <laughs> kind of girl. Can I touch this? Yeah, is this sure. fine? This is, this is handmade chain mail. Okay. It's all like attached by rings so it moves like kind of a reptilian vibe and it has a great sound. Reptilian vibe, I like that. This is hand twisted leather that's kind of been burnt on the ends and it's kind of pokey and spiky too. Is it comfortable? Did she get poked herself or is it pretty? It's pretty, it was pretty pokey, uh, especially around the neck, but mm -hmm. she was a trooper and it wasn't too bad. We, right. we adapted it. This, this, she might say differently. <laughs> <laughs> this I'll piece comes know. off in between this and this Okay. Skirt. So it lightens it up. So in between takes, or if you were only seeing from here up, you took the weight off the skirt to keep it, you know, so it was Got workable. It. All right, so we are starting then. Okay, so this is the one that I haven't seen yet, so I'm really excited. I call it the beetle dress. Because, the beetle dress, okay. Because these are made from the wings of beetles. Oh my gosh. And they're incredibly the sharp. The color's yeah. stunning. Yeah, it's amazing color and... Um, so what part, when did, what did she wear this for? She wears this in a scene sort of where she's really falling apart almost to the end of the movie, but mm -hmm. it's sort of the, a bridge costume, really. Okay. And and it's it shows that she, you know, she's had attempted finery, but it's decayed. Right. And that was the idea of it. It was dirty. There's wax on it. The the silk layer shredded away. So it's all the shredded away thing reflecting her kind of character demise in in the story. This might be my favorite. Okay. Oh, or the wedding. I just can't. I'm freaking out right now. I love it. How many feathers are on this? Thousands. I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, it's frayed at the bottom, but it, it took one person two weeks to make this. Like, all the feathers are hand trimmed and hand attached. Oh my gosh. And, um, you know, this swirls and becomes the birds, and there's that mm -hmm. whole element of that. But it was one of the first pieces we made for the film. It was one yeah, of the first ones. Yeah, it really was. And we knew we were going to do it, and we knew what it was going to do. The dress took a bit longer. That was something we came up with that we wanted to have kind of look like, almost like a scabby, wrinkled skin effect. She comes out of an oil well, or kind of an oil thing in the middle of her throne room in this, and yes, it gets okay. all black, and it looks awesome like that, because oh. it just kind of sticks to her skin, and it looks like weird scar tissue. So it has a, it, it has a journey, this dress, but okay. initially this is kind of what you see in the trailer. And right, and okay, so this is Charlize's last one. This is Charlize's wedding dress. It's an early, kind of her second chain. She marries Snow White's father in it. Right. So we're sort of, you know, it has an element of evil with the, with the collar, um, which is kind of sharp and bone-like. This is all stuff that I found in Turkey, all the fittings and stuff that are all handmade um, elements. It has, this is leather, actually, that's, is, that's okay. actually attached to the uh, Oh, I see right pleats. there. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And this is also leather that's hand embroidered onto over the fabric, and it's in another pattern. So it's quite, one of my uh, stitchers was sitting one day, and she just showed me this little piece. She'd like worked up with that in the uh -huh. sequins, and she says, do you want more sequins or less? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I can't believe you just did that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it is really so. stunning. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thanks to Colleen Atwood who took the time to talk with us. Be sure and come back for more Snow White and the Huntsman news right here.